Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jordan from PictureMonk.com. Uh, welcome to another quick little video where I show you a really, really uh, major advantage of using HDR in Lightroom. And uh, I've been kind of playing around with this with a bunch of uh, HDR photos that I have saved in the uh, the PictureMonk archives, if you will, uh, of a bunch of photos that I just have I have not edited yet and haven't played with. Uh, so I was playing around with uh, with this one in particular, um, and uh, I just wanted to show you a really quick thing that I found uh, that is just amazing when you uh, try to edit one image opposed to doing an HDR. So uh, first of all, let's get the HDR uh, you know uh, terminology out there uh, and get it um, get it out of the bad name uh, of what you kind of normally see HDR, which is the really overprocessed over processed stuff. Uh, this is not what I'm going to show you how to do, but I'm just going to show you how how good it is at recovering uh, you know the shadows. So what we have here are uh, five uh, HDR images that I shot. Uh, or a bracketed sequence and you can just see how they go lighter and lighter and lighter and exposing for more things. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just highlight all of these and do uh, right click, edit in, or I'm sorry, photo merge and then do HDR. And so I'm going to let that load and do its, uh, do its HDR thing where it's creating the preview. All right, so there we have the photo. Uh, it's not not the greatest photo because it looks exactly the same as what was down here. But uh, but I'm gonna show you what uh, what you can do with this photo here. Uh, all I'm gonna do is just do auto align because it was taken on a tripod. However, I just want to make sure everything's all lined up. I'm not gonna do auto tone. I'm not gonna do um, any of this stuff right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click merge and have that merge the fi files together. All right, so down down here we have the HDR image. You can tell because it has HDR in the name, uh, right there, and so it looks exactly the same as as probably this image. That's the probably the most similar one there. Um, so what I'm going to do is, as you can tell, this whole area is just completely uh, completely in the dark. It's in the shadows, and so I'm going to try to recover that. So I'm going to go to the basics here, go to shadows, and just bump that up. I'm going to bump it up to all the way, 100%. And I'm going to look, I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see that for, for being all in the shadows, it's a it's pretty clear image. So, uh, so that actually turned out pretty well. And so I'm going to go to the closest image to what I, I did before, and I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to increase the shadows on this one. Now look at all that noise that you get. And that's not even it's not even recovered near as much as the other one did. Even if I do the exposure, bump that up, you can just see all the color noise and all the just the film noise and all that kind of stuff. It just looks really bad. But this one, uh, this one turned out extremely well. You can see there's nothing there. There's no hardly any any noise whatsoever there. So that's one really major advantage to to the uh, to using the HDR feature in there. Even if you don't want to make a, a, a you know a, a traditional HDR, it's a really good feature to use. So uh, so yeah, that's just what I wanted to show you there, uh, real quick, guys. So if you um, if you know there's a really high dynamic range in your photo uh, and you have the time to take a tripod shot uh, with you know bracketed or even do a handheld and just try to be as steady as you can, uh, that's one real good way to to bring out more. Uh, or, or lessen the contrast really of your photos. So hope you enjoyed that little quick tip. Uh, head on over to picturemonk.com for more photography stuff and please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out as many videos as I can so uh, it always helps when I see a, a new subscriber come in. So thank you guys and I will uh, see you in the next video.